What's up everyone? So lock and load here. Today my order from Strike Industries just came in and I figured I would put on my gun channel. So before I dive into what I have purchased, in my opinion, Strike Industries is one of the best companies out there for your aftermarket parts and accessories to me basically for the AR but they also do have some for the uh, AK the Glock of course Glocks everybody has Glocks uh, HK stuff and uh, just some 1911 grips and that's it from 1911 unfortunately but I digress so what I purchased and just got in today is what I think one of the coolest things out there it's a bit pricey 114 bucks but just wait the oppressor pretty sweet and it is not a compensator which I first thought before I viewed the pictures now this is this slips over your existing compensator but only with their compensators. I'll dive into that in a little bit. So let's go ahead and open this up, see what it looks like. Man, that is sweet looking. I mean, I'm telling you, that is nice. If my camera would focus, there we go. Look at that. That is nice. They always have the nicest stuff. I mean, the finish is just spectacular. I mean, high, high grade metals. I mean, I've had no problems with any of my uh, Strike Industry parts on here. They look great, they feel great, and they last. I mean, I don't go, you know, tossing this through the mud because this is my sweet piece. I have my other AR for the, uh, the uh, outdoors and rough stuff. But, I mean, this is just sweet. As you can see, it slips over that and I'll get to that in a second so what this does is basically a blast shield so when you have you know a standard A2 birdcage flash hider or any other flash hider it doesn't matter what that does a compensator's job is to basically reduce muzzle rise and some sort of uh, uh, recoil reducing mainly for the muzzle rise recoil it's not going to do much in my opinion i don't know it's a big change but that's just me but for muzzle rise it does see with the triple crown i have three ports on each side so it shoots out the gas and the pressure shoots out on both sides and up on top so and with the a2 birdcage you hit you see all those uh ports on top the gas vents that's when it, when the uh, gases rise through there, it keeps the muzzle virtually down. So, now if you're shooting an indoor range or outside and you got your buddies or whoever near you on the side, when you shoot, your uh, the, the, the gas and the pressure shoots to the side, which it becomes uh, irritating, uncomfortable. I've seen a video, these guys test it in their former military. Uh, doing a shooting video on the oppressor and they had two balloons on each side one they did three shots of course the balloons popped on the first shot but they did it anyways uh, do the the pressure the balloons popped and they were good at least a foot away I know that it had to be at least two feet three feet away from the, the uh, sides of the uh, muzzle and then they did it with the oppressor and of course the balloons didn't pop so what it is it's a blast shield and and also not just that I mean it also has you know of course you see the port so it just shoots all the gas and pressure forward instead of the, to the side so it it's comfortable for you and people around you you know when you shoot inside your house for home defense or what what purpose indoor range outdoor range what have you so all around great device I haven't shot uh, shot this yet or my gun with this on I'm gonna take it to the range probably uh, next week and I'm gonna try it can't wait so 
the oppressor I'm gonna put up here just for display so it looks nice yeah right there so it's uh, 1144 carbon steel so this thing is tough I mean this thing ain't going nowhere I'm telling you black nitride finish so it's not gonna wear down and it's gonna prevent uh, it's a good preventive for rust if you take care of any don't scratch the shit out of it you'll be fine uh, so the total length is just under three inches so it's 2.90 or 2.9 sorry inches and the front half is 1.55 so a little under uh, two inches or a little over uh, half a, or an inch and a half and total length almost three inches and the weight 9.5 ounces so it's not too too heavy I like heavy guns so that's fine if you like uber light guns uh, that might be a little problem for you but not this adds weight to the muzzle which you're gonna have less rise and when you have your compensator on there works both ways so it works two times as great so you get two bonuses so it's a quick detach system I'll show you here in a second but let me tell you what comps are compatible with this so you got your venom comp checkmate king comp mini king comp j comp gen 2 i don't know about the first gen i don't know if they discontinued it what have you that's some you might have to call them and ask uh the sierra comp and my favorite the triple crown you should get that if you don't have one and the fur friends farah fair friends fur friends muzzle break and it's something like that and yes so if you have any of those, and you could get that and put it on. If you don't, I suggest you go get one. I prefer the Triple Crown, of course, because I have one, and it's great. Love it. Coolest looking thing. All right, so we're going to go ahead, go over here, and look at it. And we'll go ahead and, sorry, went out of focus here. All right. Yeah, this sucks not having my workbench. Now I can't have this the way I have it set up, the camera and everything. So I have to do this manually. And it sucks. Really, really does. Okay, so you can see on here it says release and lock. So this is in the lock position. So it's kind of it's it's like a ratchet system if you have a. a a socket wrench so open this up all right and what you're gonna do go ahead and slide this over on top then what you're gonna do you're gonna press in and turn it the the uh, front half counterclockwise right and you're just gonna go ahead it locks in it'll show you and go ahead and ratchet this on bam and this thing as you can see it moves my whole barrel so this thing is not going anywhere because it locks itself onto your onto your uh your compensator so last shield plus your comp equals greatness all right i'll give you guys a link in the description for the triple crown and the oppressor so if you don't have either you buy the triple crown and or the oppressor so what is there left to say well all in all great gun great parts from a great company on my great gun you know i mean look at that that just looks so nice i can't yeah look at that my god and you can see the triple crown so you just poke him right there and I wonder if I can, let's see. Yeah, this is very irritating. Okay. There we go. Look at that. Fits nice and snug, right in the center. All in all, great. You know. And as I said, I originally thought this was a new compensator, like their fat comp. Oh, yeah, if you don't, if you have a fat comp, it's not going to work. 
but I mean, I like their fat comps. They look pretty sweet. I like them. Well, guys, that's it for today. I will do another video. I don't think on uh, assembling an AR because I know YouTube doesn't like guns and Second Amendment in America, so. Um, yeah, I'll try anyways, and if it goes up, hey, work, you know, that's great. If it doesn't, well, then you can't figure that one because YouTube doesn't like cool things. They like stupid things. All right, guys, well, thank you again for uh, watching my video. Like and uh, leave a comment. Any questions, comments, or concerns, um, hell, maybe you'll subscribe just, just to do it, you know. All right, guys, you take it easy. Have a good one.